Dr. Atchison, and we're talking about Chapter 5, Perceiving Color, um, and we've moved on to the third lecture, the opponent process system. Um, so like we said in the last lecture, the color perception of the brain is a two-stage process and is represented by two main theories. We've already talked about the trichromatic color representation theory, um, which is again that we have these three different kinds of photoreceptors in the retina, um, and this will is responsible for um, some of the differences that we have in color perception, um, and that different lights evoke different responses from these different kinds of receptors. The second one that we're going to talk about in this lecture is the opponent color representation. Um, and this is again that there's a subset of retinal ganglion cells and selective neurons, um, but that these are responding opponently. So if you think about back to um, um, where you had the opposites, red versus green, um, from elementary school art class, that's kind of what we're talking about now, that these kind of have um, opposites. And, um, and so this kind of theory helped us um, further understand um, color vision and color processing. So again, um, this was first um, introduced um, very early on by Herring, um, and he died in 1918, so it was very early. But again, he didn't have the technology, just like Young didn't have the technology, um, to really be able to support his theory um, through systematic research. Um, his ideas were re-examined and confirmed in the late 50s. Um, so these are, again, very, very well-supported theories, um, the, um, this role of opponent color representation. And what this says is that at the level of the retina, most humans have um, three, some of them have four um, types of cones. Um, and this allows us to act as if there are four primary colors. Um, and we'll see that the red, green, um, blue is what we see with light, and we see blue, red, yellow is what we see with um, mixing color substances. Um, so again, we act as if there are four primary colors. Um, and we see this through things like color sorting tasks, after images, um, hue cancellations, um, and we'll go through some of these that you'll be able to see um, kind of what we're talking about. We also have evidence um, from retina ganglion cells and beyond um, that, the, that it's organized this way. We're not going to go into a lot of detail about that um, in this class about kind of that retinal level here and the color processing. Um, but again, there's lots and lots of support, both um, physiological, but also behaviorally as well. So let's go through some of the behavioral support for this opponent color representation um, theory. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at this picture. Um, I want you to look at the center of the, where the four colors meet, and I'm gonna have you look at it for 30 seconds. Go. Again, just stay right there at the middle and don't move your eyes. Okay, now you should, when you look at this gray box, you should be able to see the opposites of all four of those colors. It'll look like the colors kind of switched um, if you're looking at, again at the center of this. Um, you'll, that's representation again that we have this opponent processing system. You'll see the opposite of the color that you were looking at. So if you look back um, where you saw blue, you'll see yellow, where you saw green, you'll see red. Um, that We're seeing the opponents of these systems here. Okay, here's another one to look at. Um, this one you maybe saw in the information on the video that we watched on the anatomy of the eye. Okay, look at the white dot in the center, and again, we'll do it for 30 seconds. The longer you look at these things, um, the more pronounced um, the after image will be. But again, um, we'll just do them for 30 seconds. And again, just look right at that white dot without moving your eyes um, so that you're really just focusing or foveating on that white dot. Okay, and when you look at the white screen, you should see the American flag as it's supposed to be, red, white, and blue. Um, again, because of that opponent processing theory, the black will make you see um, the white, the red, the green will make you see the red, um, and the yellow will make you see the blue. Okay, 
So these are what we call color after images. And again, they really support um, this opponent processing theory behaviorally. Um, and one of the reasons, one of the, what's going on here um, is what we call chromatic adaptation. Um, and basically what it is, is you've looked so long at these images. And again, the longer you look at those images, the bigger the reaction will be. So if you wanna go back and look at them for a minute, a minute, you know, 45, 45 seconds is kind of where I see some of the really good ones. Um, but if you want to look at it for a minute, you'll get a bigger response. Um, and again, these color after images um, are what's happening is you're looking so long at the green and black stripes um, that basically what happens is you have this intense light of a particular wavelength um, and it's striking on the retina for an extended period of time. And that those uh, photoreceptors are getting tired. Um, and so they end up, what's happening is they're kind of um, getting bleached out almost because they're being so um, extended, they're being so stimulated. Um, and so what's gonna happen is they're gonna end up being temporarily less sensitive um, to that wavelength. Um, and so what you'll get is this after image of the opposite because they're kind of trying to say, okay, I'm really tired. Uh, I'm kind of trying to tone themselves down and becoming adapted to this. Um, what you'll see is when you remove that stimuli on a white background um, that you'll get that opposite because it's trying to, again, do the opposite. It's trying to be less sensitive and by doing that, um, we get the opposite color um, representation in these after images. Um, we can also see uh, hue cancellation is another support for the opponent processing theory. Um, and this is an experimental technique where um, a person can cancel out a perception of a particular color. So if you're looking at yellow and you're trying to get rid of this yellow light, you can cancel out that yellow by adding the complementary color. In this case, that would be blue. If you have a red light and you're trying to cancel out the red light, you would add green. Um, and this really tests the idea that some aspects of our color perception um, are best explained by assuming that there's these opposites. There's these four primaries and opposites. So both trichromatic tri theory um, is again, well, well supported with evidence, but so is opponent process theory, that both of these things kind of are working in conjunction um, to give us our color perception. So this ends the lecture on opponent processing theory. Thanks.